Avoiding certain things in your diet can have a massive impact on your acid reflux. The very first one is caffeine. Caffeine is found in teas, coffees, soft drinks, and also energy drinks. Caffeine can also increase the amount of acid in our stomach as well as relaxing our lower esophageal sphincter. What this does is act as a gate between your stomach and your food pipe, your esophagus. And if this gate is slightly open or relax, then acid can leak the wrong way. Unfortunately, caffeine is also in chocolate as well as a chemical called theobromine. This chemical can also increase your secretions of neurotransmitter called serotonin, which generally speaking is not very good for acid reflux. So the key thing here is people with acid reflux really need to cut down on their chocolate intake. The next one is actually mint in all its forms. So you've got mint tea, spearmint, peppermint, all of those things can be irritating to your food pipes. So generally speaking, try and avoid it. Number three are tomatoes. And generally speaking, they are more acidic. They contain citric and malic acid. And if you think about it, if you get more acid in a confined space like your stomach, it's more likely to leak out. And it's not just fresh tomatoes I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomatoes in other forms like sauces, your bolognese, your lasagna, but also the holy grail of pizza. Yes, I've gone after pizza, but don't hate me just yet. The next one will probably tip you over the edge. Number four is your mum. Well, not her personally, but her food. You see, in my culture and most Asian cultures, mums make great food and the family gets around that. But there are four things that they do with their food that makes acid reflux worse. Number one is they put too much salt in there. Studies have shown high salt intake is actually associated with acid reflux. Number two is onions. They use a hell of a lot of onions in their cooking. Pretty much most of the dishes that my mum makes has onions in it. Number three is fatty or oily foods. And number four is spicy foods, the last two of which delays gastric emptying, meaning the time that the food sits in your stomach is for longer, therefore it causes acid reflux. I'm not saying don't eat your mum's food, I'm just saying maybe gently approach making slight changes, tweaks, reducing salt intake. I don't know, but definitely don't send her this video saying that your acid reflux is her fault. I am not responsible for that. Also, sorry all Asian mums, Try and avoid processed or fried food. They have a high fat content, which takes a lot longer to digest, meaning it spends a lot longer in your stomach. Therefore, you're gonna produce more acid and it increases your chance of acid leaking back up into your food pipe. I've actually done a video about the latest evidence against processed food. Be sure to tap over here if you wanna see that. People who drink high levels of alcohol have more of a chance of irritation in the stomach, but alcohol also causes us to feel windy or bloated. This in turn can also affect the lower esophageal sphincter, increasing your chances of acid reflux. And lastly is the citrus fruits, your lemons, limes, oranges. Pretty self-explanatory, they're highly acidic and can make acid reflux worse, especially if you have them on an empty stomach where you don't have anything else to protect the lining of your stomach. And if you're thinking, Doc, you've just roasted my whole diet, what the hell can I eat? Well, next week's video is about the diet you should follow if you've got acid reflux. I'll see you on that video, have a wonderful day and goodbye.